It's Brian Preston, the money guy. Kyle has a very interesting question. Um, He says, I recently read an article that says people should strive to, quote unquote, die with zero. And that money that we die with is wasted life energy. What are your thoughts on this? The the okay. Here's my thought. Uh, did the ar- author of the article have a spouse? A no, it's a very popular book. Kid, it, I've had a lot of people recommend this book to me. The die was it die a zero? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I got people who subscribe to that. If you can tell me, uh, yeah, it's a great strategy. Just tell me when you're going to die, and we'll do the math. We'll figure it out. It'll be great. The problem is we don't know that. We don't know what the answer to that is. And the problem is, what do you want to be the thing that you live behind? Leave behind because I would argue. Hey, if you got a spouse and you got kids and you're thinking about grandkids, you're thinking about legacy, dying at zero does not work. Now, again, I guess it comes back to your why. What is the why? What are the things you want to do? What are the things that you want to accomplish? But if what you want to accomplish is I don't want to get down to my last thousand dollars and decide, uh uh-oh, where's, you know, where's, where's. I want, yeah, you don't want to have to make a really difficult decision when you're down to your last thousand bucks and you want to be have the freedom and flexibility and you have loved ones that you want to be able to provide a legacy and provide wealth for after you're gone or you might have organizations or causes or charities you want to support. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess you could try to die with zero, but to say that it is a waste of life force, is that the language that you Life use? energy. The, a waste of life energy. I mean, that's... That's kind of silly. That's like saying, well, you know, why am I going to, I don't want to exercise because I'm going to die one day anyways. I'm just wasting my life energy exercising. No, you're giving yourself a little bit more comfort and flexibility and freedom to live life the way that you want to live life. If you're shooting at zero, man, that's a, that's too narrow of a landing pad for me. I'm not so harsh on it because I think that it's actually, it's telling people the same message we're telling people is that you got to know your why. You got to mm-hmm. focus on what the purpose of what you're doing is. So you can, abundance is not a number. It's abundance is, is you're living your life where you know what you like to do. You know, you know, you're very purposeful in everything you do. Sure. And that's what I think if you go through an exercise of die with zero, it lets you sit down and kind of pull away all the noise and all the distractions and figure out what is actually the things that bring you happiness. We, we, on today's show, this will get turned into a highlight. We, we gave a, a famous Steve Jobs quote where he said everything that he truly loves doing actually doesn't cost, doesn't any, cost any money. money. There, there's an important point there. But I will tell you, die with zero. I, I want you to do the exercises of figuring out your why, figuring out what brings you happiness and purpose in life. But don't use a book like this or a message because there's also – this is on the same – branch where I see there's research papers out there because you guys send them to me where there's people saying you shouldn't invest a dime in your 20s. Wait until you start saving and investing in your 30s so you can enjoy that decade of your life in your 20s. That makes a great article or noise for you to read because, it, it you know, you're like, whoa, yeah, let's go do it while I'm young and I can do this. And I got this article that says I don't have to go save and invest in because there'll be plenty of time in my 30s and 40s and 50s to do that. What they don't tell you though, is that that period in your 20s and and also your 30s, if you are thinking about, I'll just die with zero, so I'm not going to save and invest because I want to do more today, what's the cost of what that money could have become? Mm -hmm. It's back to the 88 times over. Is because, look, yes, I lived, um, I don't want to say sacrificial life, but I definitely had a deferred gratification lifestyle, that bedazzled basic lifestyle I had in my 20s and 30s, where I didn't get to do everything. I did a lot. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I've told you guys, you know, some of you have even done studio tours and you've quoted me on it, where I went to Italy and we did it so cheap mm-hmm. that we got ripped off everywhere, dragging the, the luggage. But I, I, but I did, that's the bedazzled basic. I did something very affordable, still built the memory instead of living my best life because now that I'm in my 40s and, I've, and, and it cracks me up when I see what you guys are trying to pin me and Bo on, you have y'all have no idea because we always think linear. We don't think exponentially. I love that I've built these assets to now a point that it doesn't really matter what happens in my day job. Mm-hmm. That they are growing at a point that now we are living that abundant life where when I go on trips, we are spending what I might have spent in my in salary my first two years mm-hmm. out of uh, out of college because. 
that's what I think if you you need to be careful. I love the thought process of die with zero because it lets you focus on the why. But don't squander those years of of exponential growth in your 20s and 30s that could give you the ability to live a life you can't even envision what that looks like. Mm-hmm. I mean, and that's 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 what gives me gets me excited. Now, I do think there's another part of this is that you it's back to creating scarcity for your kids and things because you don't want that's why Warren Buffett and others say I don't want my kids to inherit too much because it will ruin them. That that's all we're all nibbling around the corners of why you have to be very purpose driven with how you use money as a tool. It's only a tool. So if you're not doing the extra work to know how you interact with with money, what you're planning for, what your goals are, that's that's what financial planners our job's never going to be taken away by a robo or somebody who does asset allocation, a commodity thing like that is because we spend a lot of our time helping people discuss mm-hmm. what is their why and how do we navigate this in the best possible way. If you want to die with zero, that's fine. But I just worry to die with zero means there might have been some decisions that never let you live that that life that is just fun. And I love like when you go on trips now, if you want to pay for somebody to go on this trip with you, because you can, do it, you know, because mm-hmm. that purpose brings you happiness. You know, it just, there's all kind of cool stuff that that having assets, it, it's fun. I mean, it can be very purposeful um, without being, I don't know, empty. Because that's, that's, I think I've, I've spent my life trying to make sure I'm li- building a life that life well lived that doesn't you don't leave empty and that's kind of what die with zero is just trying to make sure you don't screw that part up you're nicer than me <laughs> but was like don't do it and you're was nicer like, well here's think... some thoughts on it well no but i i, I, I love... if you try to die at zero i think you have a higher probability of living in the negative right yeah. i think that's the mindset that you op if you operate if you're really trying to do that i agree with all the 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 all the thought that goes into it, but man, that's a hard. I don't think people know the stress that. Where do you think middle life crises come from? Right, it's people, a, a lot yeah. of times it's people get in their forties, late forties, and they realize I'm just not where I want to be, and, t- and unfortunately, a lot of times that's money, mm-hmm. money, you know, a career, and uh, dying with zero. I just worry if you don't have the whys and the, the what brings you purpose and all those homework done in your twenties and thirties. You might be setting yourself up for that that mm-hmm. crisis in your 40s. 